the central part of the Japanese city of Osaka is dominated by the magnificent Osaka Castle. Its construction was completed at the end of the 16th century, and today it's Osaka's most prominent and revered symbol, popular with locals and tourists alike. But what drew Transworld Sport to Osaka was not the calm splendor of the city's famous castle, but rather the chance to find out more about a craze that's sweeping the country. Welcome to the world of double dutch rope skipping. Double Dutch is a sport using two ropes which are turned in opposite directions. Players inside the ropes perform dances and acrobatic movements. It's a great visual sport that people love. Rope skipping is thought to have originated in China thousands of years ago as part of the country's New Year festivities. In modern competitions, skippers are judged on the creativity and technical difficulty of their routines and compete as individuals or in teams, with champions being crowned in a variety of disciplines. Toshifumi Oshima and Yuki Tanaka are members of the Fat Man crew, one of Japan's leading teams. We all discovered double dutch while studying at university, and once we graduated, we loved the sport so much that we wanted to continue with it. So, the five of us got together to form the Fat Man crew. We all have our own jobs and work every day, but we still have time for double dutch during weekends and public holidays. Most of the people who played double dutch during university actually quit as soon as they graduated. But we are keeping our love for the sport alive. We've proved that you can still continue enjoying double dutch, even as normal working adults. Double dutch is the most spectacular of the rope skipping disciplines. Originating in the Netherlands, Dutch settlers took the sport to America in the 1600s. The settlers' children would jump ropes in the street whilst singing Dutch songs, leading English speakers to christen the two-roped version Double Dutch. There are two main subcategories of Double Dutch, Fusion and Speed Rope. For fusion, judges will give points for originality, formation, technicality, expression and degrees of perfection. As for speed, the numbers of turns are judged. So, quite simply, it's a case of the more turns, then the higher the scores. The Rope Skipping World Championships have been held every year since 1997. Japan are the masters of the double dutch events. At last year's competition in Hong Kong, Yuki Tanaka was part of the Japanese team that won the pair's double dutch speed event. Speed jumping is more of a straight down the middle competition rather than a performance. For the World Championships, we brought together our best individuals. The event had some of the most skilled double dutches I've ever seen, but I'm happy to say that we won the gold medal for Japan. We really showed a great degree of technique and perfection that day. The exploits of Japanese teams at the World Championships is getting more attention from the country's media, and as a result, the popularity of the sport is growing fast. Kosuke Kitagawa is the youngest member of Osaka's Fat Man crew. Things are definitely developing, but it's still a sport that is in its infancy. The media has started to take notice of the sport and we're getting more and more offers to perform all around the country. Naturally, it's more popular amongst younger people. I think that's due to the fact that music and dance are heavily involved in many of the routines. The Fat Man crew have been proactive in helping to spread the word about Double Dutch. When Transworld Sport was in town, they were hosting a beginners event aimed mainly at primary school children. Oh, 
For a number of people, there really aren't a lot of opportunities for them to try double dutch. Therefore, this event gives youngsters the chance to find out more about the sport. And those who have come have enjoyed it. It's our job to tell people about Double Dutch. We want to get beginners involved and show them that it's a really easy sport to be good at. We tell them that it's not difficult and to just give it a try. Double Dutch is a fun way to spend time with your friends. Yuki Tanaka has even found the time to establish and coach his own junior team. For him, it's important to teach the children the basics early on. I've noticed that the first thing people think about is how difficult it must be to jump into the ropes and continue jumping once you are inside. But actually, the most challenging thing in double dutch is handling the ropes. Rhythm and technique are crucial. These are the very first things I teach. We offer as much help and advice as we can. When I'm teaching, I try to convey how enjoyable the sport is and that it's open to everyone. If I can get this message across, then the sport will continue to grow in Japan. The Fat Man crew of Osaka are doing all they can to inspire the next generation of Japanese double dutchers. A number of schools in the country have even added the sport to their physical education programs. It's a sport that has no barriers, with girls competing alongside boys, and certainly with the backing of the school system, the future for double dutch skipping in Japan looks to be in very good hands. Most importantly, regardless of whether they're contributing to the growth of Double Dutch, the sport offers the kids a chance to develop their teamwork skills, as Double Dutch is a sport that hinges on the work of a team. Subscribe now to our YouTube channel for the very best of Transworld Sports.